time he came home, he said he doesn't understand. The reason he didn't understand it was because he was taught by a PhD student from China. So I know the pain. And if you don't get my, I lived here for 40 years, and you don't, you, you don't get my Midwestern accent, please interrupt and ask. Please, please, please. Okay, I'm going to talk about the uh, counter, time, time of counter of an incident in Edmel, and I will base on 168 because uh, this is here, the ship on 168, which is the same as 48 and 88. The reason I show this is because I want to point out that these are the interrupting here. This is output compare 1A and 1B here. And this is output compare 2A where you can use it. Another one uh, that you can use is the interrupt I in, uh, 0 and I in 1, which is interrupt 1 and 0. This is the external interrupt here. Uh, another important one is this here is the input capture here that you can use and I use this for for counting the revolution that this interrupt is very useful. I just learned about it recently. Anyway today we're gonna talk about the uh, time of counter just the basic basic and I, and I will give example on overflow because this is the simplest one to to understand. Uh, if you compare microcontrol with food, I think I/O is a thing that we use daily. You know, pin pin uh, pin B dot zero equal high or low. So that's like a bread and our bread and butter. And time of counter is a little more complex, more or less like steak or something like that. I guess. So the basic is we have, as you know, the CPU has a system clock. This is running at, at its own rate, whatever is coming with the CPU. Uh, everything else depends on the system clock, CPU, I.O., flash, and timer. We are talking about timer, that which will depend. Just for your information, uh, 168 uh, come in, in a default value, it comes come with the internal uh, Resistor capacity oscillator here. This is, this is a default. And it is set at 8 megahertz. Not only that, it also have a divided by 8. So in effect, it runs only 1 megahertz. So this is for your information. Arduino that I use based on uh, the board that I use is Arduino. It's, it's run at a 16 megahertz. It's using 16 megahertz crystal. Now, this is a term that I just want to, uh, to explain a little bit. Prescaler, basically, as I mentioned earlier, Arduino is running at 16 megahertz. You, what prescaler, pre basically, you scale it down to run it slower. Uh, You mean a free scale? The free scale. Just by uh, by program. Oh. You set it. You set it a couple of bits in the device. Cut a couple of bits in the in the certain register. So you can dynamically change your clock. Yes. The original clock, the system clock doesn't change. Oh, that's right. The free scale. The pre scale. The pre the, 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 the periphery. The peripheral or, or some part that you want to to use. For example, in this case here, it's got a timer counter. Right. You want it at at, at the lowest speed. 
ba basically, if I want to give you an example, let's say that uh, we have a clock that is that will give a ping on uh, on the hour every hour. Okay, so you have twelve ring in a in a day in a half day. Okay, if I run a, a sweatshop, I want it to ping only every six uh, every eight hours. So uh, every every six hours. So in a day, we will ping only three times, right? Okay. Something like that. So, so, so instead of running every hour, it's just give me a signal on every whatever scale down you, you want. It. Okay. <coughs> so I uh, just the interrupt here. Uh, it's, it's used a lot in the time encounter because it will help us because it's, I'll show you what, what, what interrupts. Uh, we have, we have available for us. These are the available interrupt that we will use. For example, uh, this external interrupt. And if you notice the timer 2, we will have compare match A, B, and overflow. This is the one that we will use because, as I said, it's easy to understand. Again, notice that timer 1 has compare 1, compare 2, and overflow, and also this is a capture event. This is the one that we, we use uh, for to count the resolution of. And then the timer 0, as you see here, again, compare A, compare B, and overflow. Therefore, if you want to use Capture, you have to use a time of one. Basically, what it is, is a jump table. This is a jump table. When there is an interrupt, it will jump to this and then it goes to the interrupt service routine where you, you write it. You write your interrupt routine to, to service whatever you want it to do. In our case here, uh, it's a time of, time of two overflow here. And what we're going to do is, as soon as there is an, uh, when the time and the time will count to a certain time, it uh, overflow and then it will, we will, it will give us an interrupt. We will write, we will write an uh, interrupt service routine to handle. In this case here, I'm going to turn it on, turn the LED on, and then next time off, on, off. So basically, it will almost look like you generate a, 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 a counter generator or something like that. A, 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 yeah, a pulse generator or something like that. Okay, this is this is a time interrupt. We have the excellent interrupt. Okay, when they come to uh, eight bit, so uh, the count the timer counter on zero and one are are eight bit size. So the count that we have on this counter is only two fifty six. All right, the, the, we we need we need clock to to tell us when it's is over uh, when it's over how how much time it is used. And then, as, as I mentioned, we use free scale to slow down the, the, the clock. Various types of, of, of this, this count, time of counter, we can use a P, the VVM, frequency generator, and like I mentioned, overflow. In fact, mechanics, so we, we, we the, our operation, we need to set up, like, like you asked earlier, we will set up the register, which is on page 85. Uh, Alright, I will give you a, 